And finally, we'll go to the fifth uh, tutorial of these five series of tutorials that hopefully will teach you how to operate a boiling water reactor. So if that's okay with Nikola Pasic, we'll start with the last chapter. If we look at the tutorials we follow, we already did the criticality, reactor heat up, turbine startup, raising core flow, and today we will do the 100% power. We will not follow this uh, tutorial, we will just initialize the conditions at 20% power, and from this we will end up the tutorial with 100% of thermal power here, which will mean the nominal uh, power electrical power output here in the turbine generator. So first of all, we need to look at the power to flow operating operating map. Now we are twenty percent and forty percent core flow, minimal core flow. So if we follow the typical startup path, we see that we need to do one, two, three, and four steps. So the first step will be to increase the power by withdrawing bars up to the point 2, which is 23%. Uh, then continue with core flow up to point 3, which is 50% of core flow. Then increase uh, the power by withdrawing control rods until more or less 55%. And at that point we will be in the 100% road line and we will reach the nominal power by increasing core flow. So let's start from point 1A to point 2 by withdrawing control rods. Let's just check a bit the general state of the reactor. We are in reactor mode run. The governor set is at 25%, so for now it's okay because we will go to 23, but further on we will need to increase this. And we can check the pressures, 937 PSI, 539 degrees. Let's start to rise control rods. Oh, sorry, I went past 16, which is the maximum position, so I need to insert it back to 16. Let's select the next one, 18, 11. We have 16 and the power is 21%. Let's select the next road. We are 23 already. So now it's time to check again. This, we are at the point two now. So now we will increase, increase core flow to go to point 3, which will be at 50% core flow. Now we'll need to raise the governor set to avoid using the bypass. Let's raise it to 55. And now we start raising the recirculation control pump speed and checking the core flow. Let me check again this chart. We need a 50%. So we are very close. Fifty percent core flow. Twenty-eight percent, twenty-nine percent average power. And we have the governor set in a safe position, 55%. Now we need to withdraw control rods until the point P, which will be around 55% of the thermal power. So let's do so. To surpass 30% of the reactor thermal power, we need to start the second feeding pump. So let's start it. 
we have here the second pump activated, so we can continue with drawing control rods. We see the period going down to 100 something. Next road, 4219. We see period, 60 seconds, next road. And we see the average power at 34 and increasing. Period, 68, 80 and increasing, next road. 50, 43. Average power 37%. Next road. 42.51. And let's keep an eye on the power because we're already at 40%. Period 100. And we're at the maximum position 16. Power 42. Road 2651. 1645. Next road. We're at power 48, so still a bit more, maybe two roads more. Sixteen. Road eighteen twenty seven. Now we'll need to increase the governor set because probably we will surpass 55% after rising this road. Okay, yes, so let's rise it before the bypass opens. The bypass opened, but it immediately closed because I was rising the governor set. And we can already rise it to 105. So we'll be ready for the next step to increase the core flow until we get 100% of thermal power and also 100% of core flow. The 105 is a safe margin, but we will be operating at 100%, no more than 100%. So now we will start increasing the pump speed and check at the same time what's the core flow. We see that the average power is increasing a bit more fast than the core flow, so it will reach 100 before the core flow, probably. We will fix this later. Now it seems that they equalized, and the core flow is higher than the average power. So now it seems that the core flow will be the limiting factor. 90% core flow. And we have 100 core flow well, at 101 because there, are, there is an inertia in the system, so we lower the pump to get 100. And now we see that the thermal power is 97%, so we need to adjust this, this by withdrawing by, uh, rods. 2619. And let's be slow here because we are very close to 100% of nominal. Ninety-eight, 
and 100. Let's wait for this to stabilize. Yes, we are critical, we are stable, and the period is infinity. We have 100% thermal power, nominal, 100% core flow. This is the design condition. If it was the contrary, and we reach the first the thermal 100%, then we'll need to adjust the, the pump also by moving rod controls, but in this case we will insert rods in, in order to get the two at the 100 percent. And now all the panel is showing the nominal values. So we have the reactor pressure vessel and 1005 psi. We have the temperature at 547 degree Fahrenheit. We have all uh, the power and the flow at 100 percent nominal and we have the nominal electrical output of this uh, uh, nuclear power plant which is 1153 megawatt of electricity. Okay, I hope you enjoyed these five uh, series of tutorials to operate a BWR nuclear reactor. And uh, if there is some interest, you can put comments and I will put more videos about transient or accident situations. Bye.